Take yourself back in time for a moment to the early 2000s. The fast movies were rising in popularity, tuner culture was in full swing, and young enthusiasts alike were investing more hours than they'd like to admit playing Need for Speed Underground. Underground consumed all of my free time and my friends could all see the same. Constantly trying out new cars to experiment with different capabilities of the different vehicles, and then maybe even more importantly, exploring the differences in visual modifications between the cars. But one thing always remained constant, and that was the underglow. It was arguably the most expressive part of the entire car. Did it match your paint color? Did it match the accents? Did it clash with the theme of the car to stand out? Or did it flash to draw attention? Either way, we needed it, and I couldn't wait to get my own car to put underglow neon on it. But by the time I got my license, a car quote unquote worthy of underglow and a steady enough job to afford it, the automotive scene shifted, underglow was frowned upon, ricers got made fun of, and underglow went away forever. Plot twist, it's back. What's going on everybody and welcome back to Fitment Industries Garage. I'm Sean from Fitment Industries, SeanB.fi on Instagram, and today we're gonna to be discussing one of the least talked about rising trends coming back to the automotive industry. And that, of course, is Underglow. But before we dive into that, please consider subscribing if you haven't already, share this video with your friends who love or even hate Underglow, and as always, wheels, tires, suspension, and Underglow, FitmentIndustries.com. Underglow is located under the store tab. Lighting technology has come so far since our beloved 2000s era of neon underglow that uses glass tubes to produce light under our cars. Not only was it fairly expensive, it was fragile. It was difficult to install, bulky and unreliable. You were literally installing gas-filled light tubes under your car if you wanted underglow in the 2000s. Nowadays, LEDs have taken over the world. LED underglow is cheap to produce, it's cheap to buy, it's easy to install, it's easy to hide, it's extremely reliable, flexible, and best of all, RGB options, so you can quite literally produce any color you could even imagine and hit everything in between with unlimited control. Speaking of control, remember when you just had an on and off switch for your neons? That's all come to the 21st century as well, meaning you have options. Our black label lighting underglow kit allows you to use Bluetooth, so you can actually control your lights from your freaking phone. It couldn't be easier to achieve your lighting goals for your car. Are you just looking for clean accent lighting under your car? We got you. Trying to light up the night like friggin' Rainbow Road? Easy. Simply looking to have underglow for irony? These kits are affordable enough for that too. So is underglow coming back? Absolutely, undoubtedly, yes. Underglow is quickly rising in popularity again simply based on how cheap and easy to install it is. From trucks to cars to boats to power sports, under your desk, behind your TV, under your bed frame, or inside your PC and anything in between, Underglow is a great way to add expression in a stealthy fashion. Our black label lighting Underglow kits start at $160 and top out at $222 with the lifetime warranty option and four wiring harness extensions. And that's a lot of personalization for the money. So Head over to fitmentindustries.com and slap that store tab to get yours today. And while you're there, don't forget to browse the wheel, tire, and suspension selection. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already and let me know in the comments what you drive and if you would put Underglow on your ride. I'm Sean from Fitment Industries, SeanB.fi on Instagram. Thank you for watching. Peace. Peace.